How do YouTube wonders? Thanks for stopping in. Saul of Tarsus or Apostle Paul? I'm going to ask you that question. It's a quickie today. What's the definition of an apostle? Um, we find that in Matthew 19 and Revelation 21, they are judges of Israel. So there's 12. There's 12 tribes. There's 12 apostles. No 13 apostles. No 14 apostles. They're eyewitnesses to Yeshua's ministry, Acts 1, from start to finish, from John the Baptist to his ascension. Only two qualified for the end. Matthias got the draw to replace Judas. So, Paul's not on the list of an apostle. So, how? <laughs> and he's not an eyewitness to Yeshua's ministry. He says apparitions basically taught him. So, how on earth do we have him testifying of Yeshua? And our words are constantly quoting Paul's words and not Yeshua's words from the Gospels. That is a serious question you got to ask yourselves because scriptures testify of Yeshua, not of Paul. Okay? Now, Jesus' words only, that's what I wanted in my life. I was missing that. I didn't like Paul at all. And, um, and I couldn't find anybody else to agree with me. So I bought this book and by D Douglas J. Del Tondo. And it stayed on my shelf for four years because I opened it up. And he's talking about Paul and this trial of Ephesus, the church of Ephesus. So it sat on my shelf for four years. And then I, I was asking the Lord, you know, Father, I really don't like Paul. And nobody's agreeing with me. So I was praying about it. And my eyes fell back on Jesus' words only book. And I picked it up and I started reading it. And the answers were all coming that I w was looking for. And I was like, oh my gosh, why did I let this sit on the shelf for four years? And it was incredible because the church of Ephesus put Paul on trial and found him a liar. Well, why aren't we? And Del Tondo comes to the same conclusion that I do. Why are we not using Jesus' words only? Why are we not using Jesus' words only? Do you hear me? Why are we not using Jesus' words only? We use Paul all the time. We're in deep cow poo poo. Get on your knees, pray, ask for forgiveness, and start using Jesus' words only, please. Thank you.